Hello YouTube, so I've had my device for something like six weeks or somewhere there and I've been waiting for Samsung to release software updates that changes some of the things that we're seeing here uh, but there have been minor updates that have come through and haven't really changed some of the things I want to talk about. Uh, I just have to say right from the start that we could be here all night talking about uh, Bixby, talking about um, uh, Google Pay and things like that, but I've decided that I'm just going to focus on the main things, the usual things that we expect from Samsung that we saw with the launch of the previous watches, the things that we've come to expect. And uh, I'll just uh, kind of touch on those and then uh, show you my thoughts uh, and share with you my experience as well. So let's start with the design. I mean, there's nothing really to complain about. It's been an incremental improvement from Samsung. It's been great. Um, these bands are what came with the watch. As I said in my previous videos, that this is much softer. If you remember the first Galaxy watch and how these things were tough, I know that with the Frontier, they were meant to be tough because it was a rugged device. Uh, but if you saw um, the leather that came with the Galaxy Watch 3, uh, that was cool as well and quite comfy and stylish. So um, they decided here now to uh, launch the Classic with these. And if you wanted to maintain that good look that uh, was on the Galaxy Watch 3, you obviously have to change the bands. I think they're still 20 millimeter or they're 20 millimeters and you can just um, replace. Uh, but in terms of des uh, design, I have nothing to complain about. I'll talk about something around the bezel, which is... um. Uh, something you you're probably not seen if you haven't used this watch but uh, i'll talk about that in a minute one other thing is that this just gets uh, crusty if you don't if you're like me and you wear this um every time except for when you have a shower or a bath it will develop some obviously you have to clean it i don't have to emphasize that i think people already know so i've just cleaned it actually because i tried to shoot the video then i saw how Monkey it was and I thought I, I can't you know I, I like to talk about and show you the reality but it was bad so I've just uh, I've just wiped it with a cloth right here at the back now while we're talking about uh, design I'll talk about comfort as well so the band here is much softer I think is the message I'm trying to give the the one that came with the watch but you can have a choice of your own ones you can have metal ones um, you can have um leather ones what i find is that the leather one gets really um filthy around here and because it's leather you can't clean it properly and it seems to absorb sweat whereas the rubber ones you can take them to the gym you can exercise and you can still clean this thing now there's just one minor thing i want to talk about and is this bezel right here so if you look at the edges here you can see these ridges here they are very uh, sharp, you know, like the end of uh, hair clippers. That What I'm finding is that this watch has been sold with uh, sleep tracking in mind. But actually, when you take it to bed, these ridges here, they are so fine and sharp that they catch. So let me show you, you might be able to demonstrate. So I've got a microfiber cloth here and, and you probably, you can probably hear that. It's ripping the cloth. And what I find is that it's embedded along here and sometimes gets underneath. So that is not a good thing. Um, I do not like accumulation of debt under the bezel. That's the first thing. But the unique thing about this, which you won't find on the Galaxy Watch 3, because it was much, the ridges were much bigger and rounded. Whereas here, they're much smaller and sharper. Even if you run your, fin your finger like this, you can tell. That is a, a real problem for me because I like sleep tracking. I like to have this in bed and I haven't been doing that um, lately. Uh, I've, I've had to just uh, uh, do without sleep tracking uh, and it kind of guesses and says, oh, you seem to have gone to bed at this time. Do you want to confirm manually? But then it doesn't record things like heart rate because obviously I haven't got the watch on. Uh, and you know that you can record snoring as well now on this. Uh, you can't do that if you're not wearing the watch. So disappointed because it's a key feature. It's a new feature. That's one of the selling features of this phone. But this, I can guarantee you, whatever bedding you have, I can guarantee you're going to experience the same problem that I'm experiencing with this. Um, so that's that's a kind of design and um, some of the things I'm seeing here. So not much of a problem. And I did point out in my last video that these buttons have been interchanged. So I'm still struggling. I'm still pressing back when I, I mean to press home and home when I need I mean to press back because they've been changed. They've been swapped here for body composition uh, tracking and things like that. Uh, so that's the first thing. 
generally good, just not uh, feeling the bezel. Uh, and also, if you wanted to change the look of the um, phone, there are some people that are selling the something that you can put all around this bezel top. I haven't seen a replacement bezel yet because that's what I was looking for. I wanted to take this bezel out and put something that doesn't catch here. I haven't seen anyone selling it for the classic yet. Uh, but they're selling something that you can put on top here. You see all this plain, plain uh, space here. You can put some nice little um, uh, patterns and whatever people are selling on there. But that's not my interest. I would rather replace the whole bezel uh, just so it doesn't uh, catch on close. So that's the, it, it's kind of a big issue for me, which is why I took this long. So that's designing. We need to hop on now to... Um, by the way, uh, uh, I'm not going to talk about tracking. It's it's brilliant. Things around sports, activities, um, that kind of thing, brilliant. And I showed you in my last video when I compared with the Galaxy Watch 3, they were on par. So we haven't lost anything in terms of the actual uh, mechanics of tracking activities. I, I love it. It's brilliant. It's spot on. No hiccups with the heart rate as we saw with um, the first Galaxy Watch. Um, basically... Uh, 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 superb very good on on tracking so we're not going to spend too long on that now the other thing i wanted to talk about is a big thing so this is really to do with um tizen um i mentioned in in a previous video when we were looking at um got the galaxy watch 3 how i was impressed that tizen was finally getting you know uh, up there they'd fixed the bugging they'd fixed the um uh the lag it was basically at the top of uh, um, at the top of his game. So I really I was I was feeling Tizen at the at the time, and I thought, okay, we're gonna see some you know something good. Uh, and that's when they decided to go with Wear OS. I know it's Wear OS powered by Samsung. Um, and to be fair, I think I, I might just tell you the conclusion now. The conclusion is that it feels experimental. Basically, it's not a finished product. Not many apps. Um, I, I, I can't demonstrate it probably here, but lag, let's, um, let's just, um, put the pin in the lagging here is real. You won't be able to see it here, but this is slower than Tizen, what you're seeing here. And the funny thing is that they've improved the RAM. Um, you know, the specs don't seem to be making a difference here at all. And, uh, I'll talk about battery as well, because the battery is bigger than on the watch three, but you don't, you know, it's, it's not you don't feel the improvement. It's basically less than the Galaxy Watch 3 uh, in terms of um, usability. So it's a shame that I can't always prove live um, the lagging here, but usually when I get prompted to enter the pin, usually when you take off the watch, because it's assuming that someone else might pick it up and use your stuff, it locks it. So that's why you saw I have to put the pin in. But once I do this um, and put the watch back on, I basically, uh, once I put the pin in here, I basically now uh, am fine, good to go. Uh, let's just take Bixby off. Um, so I'm basically good to go and it won't ask for the pin again, even if it um, it goes dark again. Um, it won't, yeah. So basically it's all about um, uh, the pin when you take it off because it assumes that it's a security thing. But back to Tizen. I was loving Tizen on the Galaxy Watch 3. Zero lag, um, zero bugs, working flawlessly, never had any hang-ups, never had any restarts, and that is exactly all the stuff that I'm getting with um, Wear OS. Basically, it's buggy. Um, I'm getting at least um, hiccups where it doesn't uh, respond uh for you know five seconds or so and then it catches up uh sometimes it doesn't vibrate when uh, and notifications are coming in for certain apps and the main thing that i i still am struggling to this uh, point is sms so the text messages i don't really use them but uh, some of the viewers raised it with me saying they were experiencing problems and what i do is i like to kind of experiment and g give them an answer i have not been able to answer uh, why some text messages come through and some don't and I'm exper experiencing the same uh, my partner has got the same um, network as me and um, before I in installed this watch when I had the Galaxy Watch 3 she could text me and it would come through to the phone and it would come through to the watch 
now with this it doesn't come through to the phone it doesn't come through to the watch so some blockages happen somewhere and it's not just here it's others as well but the funny thing is that my phone for work for example if i text myself it will come through um and there's not nothing blocked there's no and i've gone through every setting to try and understand the problem only to realize that um you know it's a widespread problem also i think it came through with previous galaxy watches and some software update was done which uh, improved things so that is really um a problem and if you look at some of my, the reviews i've done in the past you can see that i've always been complimentary of samsung products and devices and things like that i have not experienced this uh, this much bad stuff for a device also to say that because it's Wear OS. Uh, not many apps. The apps that you had for the Galaxy Watch 3 won't easily transfer. Most of them will not work. Some of them are Samsung products that come with the watch. Things like, I don't know, timer, maybe reminder and things like that will still, will still be there. But a lot of what you had before cannot be put here, which is a, which is a terrible, terrible shame. Um, and just uh, some other things that, you know, we, I'm not going to spend time on Google Pay and Samsung Pay, but what you want is really to be able to just wake your screen and tap and go. But each time you have to enter your PIN to have uh, that work. So, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not really impressed with that. Um, so I talked about specs. Uh, so we, we see that there's extra RAM here, but it's not making a difference. I think the, the RAM was 1 gig, if I'm not mistaken, on the Watch 3, and then 1.5 on here, I think. Um, and still not making a difference. Now, battery is another disappointing uh, feature here. Uh, so the, the battery seems to work um, on the Watch 3 with my settings that I've got here and would give me two days comfortably, usually two days and 15 hours or something like that. Here, I am lucky to get two days with the same settings. So, you know, things like Bluetooth is on, location is on, Wi-Fi is on, no LTE, because if I did put LTE here, I'm convinced I wouldn't even get a day. So I haven't activated LTE yet. Um, and that's giving me something like, um, if I'm lucky, a day and 19 hours. So not even two days. Um, and if you think about it, there's a, a tiny hint of um, uh, bump in the battery on this watch. So it should be doing more. But because they have in introduced Wear OS, which has got a reputation for depleting the battery, but they've got other features, which I don't use now anymore, uh, like AR Emoji Watch Face or Bitmoji Watch Face, I have con concluded that they exploit a lot of the battery and um, you can always tell because if you go in the battery settings on the watch um, it tells you which watch which uh, apps are consuming battery too much so let's see if we might be able to show you here um, right let's let's go into Wear OS I might be able to show you but uh, let's see um, now what am I looking for I'm looking for the battery Um, so you can see some of the apps that are utilizing the battery here and you can see watch faces is on there. Now it's saying it's using, uh, 0.3% and I know why that is, is because I'm using this watch face. Now, if I had used the other watch face, which is the Bitmoji or the AR Emoji one, which I'd, I've done a few videos on, uh, that battery wouldn't last even that long. It would, it would um, waste very quickly. I've noticed that on activities, though, the activity um, that you do for an hour, for example, uses less battery on the Watch 4 than it does on the, on the Galaxy Watch 3. It uses less battery to do an activity, the same activity for an hour. So what seems to be consuming more battery is things in the background, the OS, the operating system. And I think that's where OS um, depleting the battery like that. So I, I just wanted to share those things uh, and just so you know. Uh, but my general conclusion here is that uh, we're looking at um, an experiment. Uh, it's not a complete product and Samsung do do that once in a while, you know um, Like they've been doing with us uh, in, in the UK on the phones with the Exynos uh, processor and rather than uh, giving us the Snapdragon as other uh, other p 
parts of the world have had in the past, in the past I'm talking about. Uh, but um, that's all I wanted to share, really. I hope that we get some software updates, which I know we will, because we're expecting um, the Google Assistant to be on the watch as well at some point. I think Samsung have said that that will happen. So I, I can only say that if you're planning to get rid of your Watch 3, hold on to it for now. And um, by the time that Samsung bring in all these updates, the price of this will probably be lower as well. So you might grab yourself a bargain. But uh, that is all. That's all I had to share. Please let me know your thoughts in the, um, in the comments. Have a great day.